is a very sad sight. An empty truck with pallets in it. Let's go see if we can do something about that. Oh, well look at this. This seems familiar. I think there's machines in here. Let's go look. I caught you, sir. Yes, you did. What are you doing? Get away from that machine. I don't need no machines. I don't need them. That's right. You can see how this yeah, tab bit yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's been in. Yeah, that one's 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 in. Hey, this isn't a machine, it's just a grinder, man. Grinder buffer. Technicalities. Technicalities. Hi, Jim. Hey, Steve. Welcome back to San Leon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I know once you come here once, you can't stay away. I. This is his third trip. I feel like I work here. Oh, you wish. Doing a good <laughs> job cleaning out my shop. Well, he's trying. I don't know what else to tell you, Don. You just read up bad. That's it's all there is. It's a buffer, man. It's a buffer grinder. Right now this man's doing it right. He's getting rid of his tools. Yeah, yeah. But you. I'm preparing for the inevitable. Yeah. Wait a minute. Why are we here? This was a sec. This was like an afterthought. You, you came I don't to know get another here. piece that you bought. This was an afterthought. I said, oh, well, while but, we're there, why don't we see if you'll sell this to me? But the difference is, I haven't been saying for a year that I don't need no more machines. And I know what I machines. am. You just keep buying machines. <laughs> I know what Yours I am. Yours is big. This is a little footprint thing. Yeah, this will fit anywhere. And I doubled one I got right there. I use that all the time. Yeah. Up the wheel. Up the yeah. Wheel. Yep. Yep. That's good. That's a nice one. It could go in my shop if you get rid of it. Well, that would be one of the last ones. Last what? Machines to get rid of because I use it all. Well, keep me yeah, in mind. Get rid of that. that queen sitting next to it, I can get rid of that one because I got another one just like it in the back. Very good, I got. It's not painted pretty, but it works good. That's the way to have them. Well, oh, how are you gonna get that home, Don? In your truck. In my truck. May not be room. <laughs> May have to go get a U-Haul. This one's got wheels on it. You're gonna have to block it up, or it'll go all over. Just strap it. It may, it may fit in the, that. Pack. Well, it's just sitting on a little cheap Harbor Freight dolly. Oh, it'll come right off. Yeah. You don't want that thing on wheels anyway. No. I just put it on I do for little... right now because I'm going to paint it anyway. Yeah. I just don't match my other Yeah, place. like that one, only a smaller one. Yeah, okay. That'll work. We've been buying the ones from uh, Tractor, Tractor supply. supply. Yeah. They're 1,000 pound rated and, and, and semi-solid like that. They're really nice. They could do better wheels on them, but... Yeah, yeah. I've got a whole bridge cord on two of them. They hold a lot of weight. It's just, yeah. it's hard to roll them sometimes with little cheap ass wheels that don't have no bearings. Yeah, you overload those wheels. Well, why don't we get one of those pallets off that truck and strap that one on and load it last. I'll go carry the pallet. Yeah. You can feel me that. carrying well, pallets. Yeah, that's the one that takes the time. Yeah. This is going to be just an yeah, afterthought. It shouldn't take much. Yeah, bring a pallet to the back and I'll raise it up, set it okay. on a pallet. 
take the front And then with the uh, chip crane, we'll bring it by the door like we've been doing. Sounds like a plan. Here, make yourself useful. Just hold it right there and don't hit any buttons. You hit a button, you're going to be in trouble. No, you, you uh, can't take you anywhere. This is real interesting. People want to see you grab a pallet. Hey, Steve, if you want, I'll bring my uh, forklift up too. I've been carrying these around since I made them. Yeah. Oh God, I don't want to end up like Don. That's for sure. That wasn't from picking up something. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna bring my forklift out and spin it around. It was from worn out Crocs. Don fell off of his steps the other day, and he's hurt. Hey, hey. Everything still works. <laughs> Not very well. Make sure I got battery. Very nice power. Uh -huh. That is a, it was one, two, three, four, five two before, it's eight foot long, it's four foot, so it won't slide in the back of the truck. And if you put a pedestal of the bridge port on it and paint it. Yeah, nice. What are we doing, Don? See, I buy a little buffer that I need. Steve buys this thing. He don't need that. He don't need it. What's wrong with you, sir? That fall must have done something to you, that's all I could say. I didn't find the tank. But okay. if you see it, you're welcome to it. I did find a pump, and it's probably the pump that came off of that for the tank. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't need it because basically I'm going to a one tank system. I've got a tank on my grinder that's got wheels on it already. And I'm just going to put a plug on each machine, plug it in, and then just yeah. use that same coolant because it evaporates so fast on you. Well, we're getting all fancy. Well, it's, it's early in the day. I don't know if you took a bath on Sunday. I'll take another whole day. And just to this is the end of Andrew. Andrew, this is the uh, accumulator. This, uh, and he's got to say all oh, it doesn't match it an inch. Yeah. And it comes with two on it. Which is the way. important part. Up there, up there. Um, good lay. Comes with steady rest and follow rest. That's a hell of a deal, by the way. It is. Let's see. You already got the straps on in there? Yeah. It's out of the side of the moment. Oh,
Do what? Uh, oh, cool. Dressing things. Thanks, sir. This is a Hammond. Y'all read that. I can't. I don't have my glasses on. I found very little bitty information on these. The company still exists, but they don't have any technical manuals on their old stuff. And vintage machinery doesn't have anything on it. It says the model is WD10. WD10, so 10 inch wheels. Spindle RPM is 1900, motor RPM is 1750. It says 440 volt, but it's the but you already now wired to 240. Yeah. And here's forward reverse switch, neutral, off, forward and reverse, and ready to go. What are those canisters hanging down underneath there? Where I've got that wire hanging on? I don't know. I would guess that's for uh, maybe solids. Keep it out of your. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's that's a filter for the coolant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Pretty soon I'll have everything I need to sharpen everything there is. There you go. And then I'll have to go find some more stuff to go sharpen. Well, that drill pointer you got put you a big step closer on the drill bit. Well, that'll be nice. I'm going to go get a thing and screw it to the pallet, and we can pick it up without it falling apart. If you want to get your straps off of it, we'll be ready to go. Huh? Okay. Oh, the motor sounds good. 
good. And we can plug it in and run the motor. Ah. Okay. I'm going to sell advertisement on Don's butts, what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, as long as you split He's the money with me. In front of the camera. As long as you split the money with me, I'm okay with that. I wonder how much I can get for it. This space, your name here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he does the same thing. But he does the like in uh, no. the movie Rocky. Rocky. That, that's the perks of being the editor. Ah. Yeah, Rocky, the, his yeah. brother-in-law had to meet markets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's funny. Oh, deja vu. Now you sell it now, I want you to make sure you, uh, you uh, make a video on that grinder, right? You said you sell that grinder? Yeah, yeah. Maybe somebody exactly. that in that one. The other end of it, uh, the guard, I, it's over here, I have it. I got a bit and I had to sneak in and get a picture of the front of it. I didn't have to sneak, I could walk right in. It's on wheels too. It's ready to roll. And it's got a Baldor blower motor. Yeah. Extractor fan. That's a nice one. Unfortunately, I might have to buy it. You don't need that. Well, you got the truck here. Says the man. Yeah, but I need what I buy. You just buy the buy. I need it. <laughs> you got one. Well, I was okay, thinking that's the you want to do one, one hand on one and one, one hand on I've the got other. One. My God. When it comes to things like this, need has nothing to do with it. That's right. <laughs> you can get it in your shop. And I shut the door at the end of the day. Yeah, everything's want. okay. Yeah. If I want. I mean. dank, 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 dank. Well, let's go get these things loaded. Okay. Get this back where it was. Fortunately, we don't have unlimited time today. Oh, okay. Don's parole officer will stop there probably. Yeah, gotta do a drug test. See drug parole testing, officer. yeah. Don doesn't do drugs. Don doesn't even do drugs. But let me put it this way. Don doesn't do drugs. Don doesn't drink. So he has no excuses for the way he acts. Well, that might be the problem. I made these little pallets the other night. And I don't like them.
but only read it for 500 pounds, so I had to go on a diet. 500 pounds? We're back to diets, folks. Time we come here, it talks about diets. Oh man, it's working today. I reached a new all time best, all time 20 year best. So. Of what? Weight. Of what? Oh, the weight being uh, 196. 196, that's pretty My good. My goal is to be 185. Not far away. Losing but all you're eating is meat. meat. It's a bitch. But, been uh, about 120 days on this. And for a long time, I wasn't losing anyway. And now I'm just starting to lose weight again. I don't know what causes that. But. Worms. All that meat <laughs> worms. Yeah, you did this the same way. It's just yeah, if they don't have any room. Well, just do it. No. I was gonna have to take it up a little bit this way first. Hold on. Okay. Hold on the bottom one. Okay. Hold on this one. Hold on this one. One going down there. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Is that work? Nice to have a couple of screws in there. Let's yeah, see if I can pop it Wire? Wire yeah. would work. This piece of wire, I'll, I'll run around the thing and twist it on there. You say that'll hold. Oh. Well, yeah, I know I do, but I have no idea where. <laughs> Don, here's some wire. Right here. No, no, no. no, no. Try to help a guy out. Jim, you said that piece of cast iron was yeah, back it, over here? Yeah, it's up against this wall. It's in oh. that wooden box. Oh, hidden. That's a big long one. Looks to be about five, six foot. I have to open that up. See yeah, I got those machines on the wheel. I tried to pull it out by myself, but together we Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I tell you. That is a big piece of non-precision cast iron anymore. Huh. That thing feels solid, I can't tell. I got all kinds of drivers. Okay. It's a square driver. I got square drivers. We'll have to come back and look at that. This reminds me of a friend I had. He had an uncle that was addicted to going to auctions. And he would go to an auction and buy anything hardware or tool related. When the man died, he was lived by himself. He had a vacant lot, a two-car garage, detached garage, a three-bedroom house, and the only relatives to leave it to were two nephews. Well, they went over to this house for the first time in years, and it turned out the guy was a hoarder. Yeah. And being a paramedic, I've been in several hoarder houses and he had a trail from the back door going all the way over to the kitchen sink 
and then to the bathroom, then to one side of his bed in his bedroom. Everything else was stacked to the ceilings with boxes and crates of stuff he had bought. And then he went into the attic and was piling it up in the attic using the bottom floor to support the top. Then he filled up this two-car garage. Then he started buying surplus army crates that were waterproof and stacking them outside. Well, I came to the very last, the, the, the two nephews had to clean the house out and sell it. I came to the very last auction. They had been, ha not auction, but uh, garage sale. Each of them had taken half of the loot and rented storage sheds. The man told me he had 17 storage sheds rented at one time put all of this in there and then it slowly sold it at, at auctions and garage sales. Well, that's my life story. You know? like, <laughs> only I'm getting rid of it before I die. But there was one time when I needed to change my oil in my truck and I had to do it outside. 3,600 square foot building. I know. And I had to change in the rain outside. So. That's when I I'm figured guilty. out it was cheaper just to go to the oil change place. Well, we're loaded up. We gotta get Don's. He doesn't need this. I don't think I let it out of my truck. We're just aiding a betting a, a person with a serious we're, problem. We're creating another border. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's not that bad. His house is very neat and tidy, and yeah, and yeah, he seems like he would be. Are you ready to put it in your truck? I am. <laughs> And we went out. Oh, I could haul eight people. The whole front half was trampoline, and the back was hard deck. Me and the guys would sail it in the back and ring beer, and the, all the girls would lay up on the trampoline. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we went out and had a blast. It sounds like. Should you hand me another strap, Don, over here on the, right. on the ground behind me? But then life got in the way, job and children. Everything gets in the way. I tell you. But it's what brought me back here 20 years later. Bought me another sailboat exactly like it. Put it in the San Leon Marina. Then ended up buying a house next to the marina. Oh, wow. That's why I've settled here. Okay. Grab that and go down low on that hook right over there by the, the bottom. Might be on the wrong side of this strap. I'll just tighten that one up more. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. I love these Chevrolet hooks in the back. I hate the ones in the front. You can't get to them. I put little short slings. I found some slings about 24 inches, shacking them to the front hooks, and then they're out past the toolbox where you can get to it. I wish the company would make them the way they should be. Yeah, Hear that? Good. That's your free advice, Chevrolet. <laughs> and I got another pet peeve. For all us old folks that can't see those little bitty quarter-inch turn signals in that dash that's cluttered with all kinds of goofy symbols, make the turn signals bigger. Put them in the overhead heads-up display, for Christ's sakes. Wouldn't cost you a dime. And then make it louder where you can hear it. Us deaf old firefighter paramedics can't hear shit. Excuse my French. Wan, wan, wan. Damn, what do you want now? damn, damn. I can't help it. They need my help so to tell them what need, the hell to do. We need to strap it from coming this way top heavy. So go from there to there. Well, that's what no, these that straps that do can, to this. But I mean the pallet. The that ain't of, going nowhere. No, that pallet ain't Well, you got, it, you got one. Let's just put one. Yeah. Well, you're, you're Maybe you feel better. Hook it on, hook it on that. It ain't gonna do hook it on the eye point. of the other one. Up here? Yeah. Go on. And just hook it that you, way. You just think it's a baby or so? Well, you can't do it that way. You got to go under that go blue underneath, strap. That's all. all I care is your protection line. That's all I care about. Just to keep it from when you, if you have to. Yeah, time both you have to slam, slam the accelerator down, it doesn't 
put back that's all I'm just trying to think of the name of the company that makes those cell phones for old people. With the, big... uh, the, the cricket or the no. ladybug or something like that. Something like it, but not that. And I think the oh, needs to talk to them so they can uh, old, uh, old folks proof these uh, trucks. Okay. I need to talk to Chevrolet. They're the ones that make this truck that's $82,000. The new one I need is $89,000. That's ridiculous. That's yeah. ridiculous. I just bought a Suburban two days ago for 7500 and I know it's going to outlive me. There you go. It's in real good shape. But yeah, paying 70 even 50 I, I couldn't bring myself to pay 50 for a new year. Shit. I will never not have a truck payment. I'll either have payments for $6,000 torque converters or, or something. So you might as well just have a new truck with a warranty. Yeah, but boy, that extra money you're paying for that warranty, about 50000 bucks. Preferably one with the tie-down straps behind the toolbox and the blinkers where you can see them in the heads-up display and loud enough for old farts like me to hear them. They can't put it any further up, but that's where it's Yes, sir, they can. That's where it's structurally sound. There's nothing here. That's they are friggin' wall. engineers. <laughs> I can make it happen, yeah, but that's the principle of the to, thing. They'd have to add more steel to do that. Oh my it? God, more steel? Uh, oh, it. what will we do? That'll cut down their MPGs for, you know. Oh, maybe they can make it out of bubble gum. There you go. Yeah. I put one of those cranes in my truck. Uh, I used to have a generator yeah. that I took jobs with me mm -hmm. so I could load it, unload it. And I had to put big old... Yeah, you can't use it the way it is. It bends the... Yeah, it bends, bends the beds. The bed's so thin. I got some aluminum plate. Oh, I got everything. What and I'm going to put under it, some backing plate. And it worked yeah. We're talking good. about my little crane right there, and the bed of this truck is so thin to save weight, and I understand that that I can barely pick up an opener. So what I'm going to do is put a rod right here coming up, and then bolt a bearing like a pillow block bearing to it. And so that'll give it this That way that. you can bend the side of your truck too, not yeah. just your bed, you can bend the side too. That's good, I like that idea. That's double thinking, you know, I've taken care of two problems and created another one. Golly. Well, I think we're, I think we're good. We're over good, which is always good. If this comes out of there... It's over good, which is good. It's over good. Nothing wrong with over here. Well, Jim, yes, I wish I could say that this is the last time you see you. But you already but saw something else. I, I, this is the third trip for the uh, the poor person over there that has the disease. And I just facilitate him. Yep. Huh. Oh, well. fall off right now. It's on there good. Something. What are you saying, sir? I was just making sure this Don't wasn't Don't you loose. be coveting my tool. I was making it sure it wasn't loose so you wouldn't lose your handle. Uh, but it's all painted in there. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Jim. Yep. You're sure welcome. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in a couple of days, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll I make this a weekly event. <laughs> I'll put it on my schedule. There you go. <laughs> what? Do you deliver? <laughs> oh, no. That is... I've done it before, but I ain't doing it again. <laughs> but we're nice guys. I sold uh, my sailboat, that catamaran, yeah. I sold to a guy in uh, New Jersey right across from New York City. And I thought, Bye guys, we gotta go. To him. Yeah. I was hungry and I needed the money. Hey, you do what you gotta do when you gotta yeah. do it.